Mr. Bennett 81 here with a review on the build I had put together from the 365 things to do with Lego bricks book. Uh, this build is number 200 uh, in the book, so uh, uh, it's definitely an interesting one to put together and find the pieces for, for putting it together. It's, uh, well, this version is mostly done with uh, Technic pieces and uh, gears to hold it all in place or for it to work with uh, different size uh, these here uh, uh, these items holding uh, the gears and uh, pieces in place uh, the piece holding the uh, uh, piece of paper in is just one panel with uh, uh, drawing a blank on what the, these pieces right here are called, but there's some also panel pieces underneath the paper as well, and uh, two of these the hold the. Uh, the setup on the uh, on the gears. Just fits right into uh, the plugs there. Uh not sure how long it took uh, to put the put this together or finding the pieces for the uh, setup um, as you can tell there's a, a lot of gears for the build about nine in total uh, three on the top and uh, six along the bottom part here uh, these two gears are uh, hooked together so when this one gear is turning this one here it's turning this entire uh, top row which moves the arm while from here on over uh, these gears are being turned and as you can tell the arm setup is definitely moving. Um, now this is a little different than what they had shown in the uh, in the book. No instructions given, just uh, going with what was mentioned and uh, with what I had, you know, for the gears. The uh, image drawn by the machine, uh, depending on where you got the uh, uh, item holding the paper, is set up on this gear here. Depending, depending on how you've got it uh, in there, you'll get. Uh, a different image as you can tell I've had some fun here uh, <laughs> with these images drawing them up uh, every time I put a new uh, marker in or pin I'd move the uh, well item holding the paper uh, to a different spot which uh, gives a different image uh, 
Yeah, so if it was like right here, I would take it off and then place it in a different spot for a different image to overlap. And I've got two pins here. Not exactly sure where the markers I was using up or put or right at the moment. So just uh, place the pin or marker right into the fingers here or the hand of the device. So it's touching the paper. Then just start turning the knob. And as you can tell, it doesn't quite hold in there too good, but uh, might depend on how uh, or which way the pin's going, perhaps. And uh, if you got, or plus on the uh, marker or pin you've got, depending on how long it's down on the paper, would uh, bleed through. Which uh, happened uh, quite a bit on this one here, as you can tell. Still turned out pretty good though. <laughs> uh, it's Try a different color on this one. See how this one does. stay up Not too bad. Excuse me. Uh, but as you can tell, depending on uh, what you're uh, using with the drawing machine and how you've got got it set up, you get a different uh, image every time. Definitely. Uh, Fun build. The here's one I've got in my Lego collection. Uh, more to come uh, later on for uh, for other builds out of the book. Hope you enjoyed the uh, review. Until uh, next time. Have a good one.